Alrighty, well, good morning, everybody, and cast time once again. And um, this one here is going to be kind of haphazardly done. Um, I had just gotten through doing like a like an hour-long video. I'll explain more about it later, but yeah, I just, I basically went right from there to here. So, so like I said, didn't not much prep work on this, so, so again, don't be surprised if there are some mistakes being made. Um... And then the music, this is going to be, um, I'll get on the right one. This is going to be A Chill in the Sky. Um, this, this is uh, from one of my favorite uh, one of my favorite channels, Iron Cthulhu Apocalypse. They specialize in dark ambient music. So and this just came out yesterday too, so it's pretty new. But, um... Anyway, uh, let's see. Well, to start with, um, I think I might be getting sick. Um, I've got a, it's a, it's a weak cough, but it's a persistent one, weak but persistent. So I don't. I'm hoping it. I'm hoping it. It doesn't get worse. You know, or I'm hoping, you know, I'm hoping to recover from it fairly soon. But like I said, I don't know. I mean, there's. Because there's times at work where I have to have a mask off. Like if I'm doing if I'm doing some strenuous stuff, I have to have the mask off, you know, just so I can see and breathe. You know, you know, huffing and puffing, like pulling heavy stuff, or my glasses get all fogged up. So, time, situations like that, I have to have a mask off. So I'm hoping I didn't catch anything, but from any, I'm hoping I didn't catch anything from anybody. Um, and there's because. Some of my co-workers, they'll work with their mask off as well, so. But we'll, we'll see on that. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and turn this up from my end, so I can hear a little better. I'm going to turn up a little bit in the, uh, turn, I'll go ahead and turn up the YouTube video a little bit too. Um, but, yeah, but, otherwise, um, uh, Gems of War went pretty good, um, I did, um, I think I did a little bit of everything, um, did a bit of everything, um, oh god, what else, a guy named, um, a guy named Skull Salad came by to visit, haven't seen him in a long time. So he was he was around back when I was streaming Final Fantasy XIV, which which speak out of that I still have to get back into that. I gotta see if uh, I gotta see if they fixed the sound problems. I don't think they did. I would I think if, if they would have, they probably would have done it during their next maintenance their next maintenance period. So, and then um like I've been doing on my day on my nights off, I just do all the uh. I just do all the gems of war dailies. I just get all that taken care of in the morning, and then um, what I'm gonna try to do, um, but I, I mean hell, I still have to, I still have to reinstall the game. Um, but yeah, kill, but a uh, killer instinct. It is from the little I played of it, it is streamable, despite it looking pretty graphics intensive. Uh, one drawback though is this uh, game takes up almost 50 gigabytes on my computer and it was to where uh, the moment my stream would end I'd have to delete the uh, stream video immediately because the computer would tell me it's out of hard drive space so <coughs> but yeah uh, but uh, but my file but yeah I only had a I only had like a hundred gigs left, hundred gigs on my hard drive, and um, when I, and when I record these videos, um, I forgot the name of it, but I always use uh, I think it's called lossless, lossless quality. So if I'm recording at say, 720 pixels, the playback will also be at 720 pixels. So it takes up a lot of files. It takes up a lot of hard drive space. A huge file size 
So that's why I always say it when I do these other cast videos, that if there's going to be a lot of video in it, like nature hikes, or, you know, showing nature, or showing lots of animation, it's going to jack up the file size. That's why. Because uh, I'm recording them as at a lossless quality. Because, I mean, I, you know, I mean, I mean, I mean, I want my videos to look good. I mean, no, I don't want them no, no 2,500 pixels or something. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta take a drink here. <coughs> you know, cause I don't want to, you know, I don't want ass quality videos. I mean, you know, again, recording it like, you no, know, you know, or playing a video at like 720, but the recording is like 360. I mean, even I wouldn't want to watch it when it's that bad. So, but anyway, um, what I went ahead and did is, um, I just went through, in fact, uh, hold on just a second here. Yeah, I had just gotten through uh, uninstalling a whole bunch of uh, a whole bunch of games that I don't play anymore, and now that I think about it, yeah, I might as well get rid of this one too. But yeah, I mean, I played I played the living hell out of these back in the '90s. Uh, I tried playing. I've actually tried streaming them, but let me look at how big this is. Yeah. Three gigabytes, so again, I haven't played this in a very long time, so it's got to go. Let me go and get rid of that. And then Grim Dawn, one of my um uh, one of my all time favorite ARPGs. So I haven't played it in a long time, but I don't want to get rid of this one. Um I'm trying to think. No, I think now that I think about it. I think it's actually my all-time favorite ARPG. I just remembered that. Yeah. It actually beat out Path of Exile. If only because I could actually stream Grim Dawn on my computer without it... Without it lagging. Whereas, uh... Slay the... Or... Whereas, uh... Path of Exile... It, it too much is going on. It, it almost becomes a slideshow. And Slay the Spire... Um... Definitely gotta keep that one. So, but... Anyway... So I just went through, um, if they had a, if they were a, a small file size, or if, um, if they were, if they were quote unquote important that I keep, then I don't, I don't delete them. You know, something like Darkest Dungeon, my all time favorite RPG. Um, yeah, I'm definitely holding on to that, you know. Um, but, um, Bully, you know, one of my all-time favorite, uh, game soundtracks. Plus, the, the game itself is actually pretty awesome as well, so yeah. And d all this despite the fact that it crashes a lot on this computer. I'm still keeping it, though. So, you know, something like Bloons Tower Defense, yeah, I'm keeping that. This is a game I practically grew up with. I think I probably might, I might have played... Like back in the mid to late 2000s, like the original Bloons Tower Defense. So, but yeah, like I, like I, like I've been saying, um, Dragon Slayer. I remember playing this when I was a little kid back in the 80s. Um, you know, but I, well, here, let me um, let me see how big it is. 1.8 gigabytes, but I'm still keeping it. You know, for some senti sentimental value. Dragon's Lair 2. I never knew this game existed. So, yeah. Gotta hold on to this one. Even though I think I only played it maybe a brief period of, yeah, 26 minutes. So, but anyway. So, but anyway. um, But yeah, I gotta... I, I still have to reinstall Killer Instinct, though. I, I, think, I, th I think I just uninstalled it on a whim.
In fact, let me, um, let me go ahead and pull that up. After doing all that deleting, I think I showed this on my previous vid, on my, um, on my actual video. Hope that didn't corrupt my file. on again. So, let me, um, yep, there it is. So, I formerly only had about 100 gigabytes to work with, but I now have 400, so, Got some breathing room. <coughs> oh, and something else too. Um, I also uh, I also wish listed a game called Faith. I watched a damn gameplay video of this, and let me pull up my Steam. Oh, I'm hoping it's in here. Let me uh, let me go to it. Okay, almost there. Yeah, here it is. Um, I watched a few gameplay. There, um, I watched part of a an actual. The third ver uh, the third the third installment of Faith. I watched part of that. I'm like, holy jumping shit balls. I mean, it, it it's like um it's like the Exorcist meets Wizard of War. Like the classic early eighties arcade game, Wizard of War. Like all the um all the graphics and sound effects. I mean I saw that, I'm like, okay, I gotta get this. Um but uh, it actually came out. But it actually came out back in like, oh, when was it? Here, let me pull it up again. Yeah, it don't say. I, last I looked, though, I think it came out in like, uh, like 2017, 2018, or something like that. But yeah, like I said, I saw it. I fell in love with that immediately. Um, the only drawback to that game is um, there's going to be a lot of reading, so it kind of, it's almost in the category of Planescape Torment. Yeah, it just it's basically a it's basically a visual novel with a little bit of game with a little bit of actual gameplay thrown in. Which now that I think about it, it almost reminds me of the uh, Super Nintendo game Mario is Missing. You're basically just going from country to country, learning trivia about that particular country, and then at the end of each area, you like you get I think I think you have to jump you have to land on Bowser's head some odd amount of times to get the clue or whatever it was. But anyway, you kinda get the idea. But yeah, I'm when it when that game becomes available, I'm swooping up on that sucker. Chances are I might actually stream it as well. So <laughs> But otherwise, um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and kill it here. Um, I believe I've said all the things I wanted to say this morning, and I still have to, I still have to, I still have to set to get my other video uploaded. Got to get this video uploaded. Got to get them both processed and all that. So, um, basically we're looking at four videos here that have to get uploaded. Um, basically two videos, uh, basically two to Twitch and two to YouTube, so. Still gonna have a pretty busy morning, um, but but hell, I still gotta I still gotta install Killer Inst or I gotta reinstall Killer Instinct yet. So, but otherwise that otherwise thanks for uh, tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that, and I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow morning. So, but until then, thanks again or thanks again thanks once again for coming by, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye now.